Uh, I do know that a lot of AWM's efforts are focused around administering these grants and uh, that uh, a lot of our impact is a result of being able to carry out these activities uh, that we have funding for. I think every little thing that anybody can do who understands mathematics in order to, to, to bring it to more people will help. I don't have a big recipe to change it in a whole country or a whole world. I mean, I think that we should all help with small circles. And if more of us do things, I think professional mathematicians have for too long a time not done anything about it. Est-ce que je peux recommander les, les mathématiques pour une carrière Oui, moi je trouve que les mathématiques sont quelque chose de, de fondamental pour beaucoup, pour les mathématiques elles-mêmes, elles bien sûr, mais aussi pour, pour la plupart des disciplines. Et par exemple, moi, j'ai commencé par faire des mathématiques et maintenant je fais quelque chose à l'interface entre les mathématiques et l'informatique et je suis très très contente de faire cela. Je pense que les, je pense que les mathématiques c'est forme une, une science fondamentale qui peut et aussi un mode de pensée qui est qui est très important pour tout le monde, même si on ne fait pas vraiment des mathématiques. Donc là, j'imagine que vous parlez des mes collègues féminines. Donc, évidemment, si je, à, à toute jeune femme qui, vous, qui est attirée par les mathématiques, je le conseillerais de ne pas hésiter. Euh, souvent, j'ai l'impression que pour des raisons culturelles, les jeunes femmes hésitent à faire des mathématiques. Peut-être à cause de l'éducation qu'elles ont reçue dans leur famille ou aussi peut-être à cause de leurs professeurs. Mais moi, je dois dire que je n'ai jamais ressenti aucune discrimination une fois que j'ai commencé à faire des mathématiques. We ask the hypothetical question, if there were no discrimination against women, uh, would we still exist? Would there be any reason for us to exist? Uh, suppose that an ideal day comes when women get support, when women get promoted, when women are entering the profession in proportion to their share of the population and the talented population. Um, would there be any reason for AWM to exist? And we would like to think that there would still be a reason for us to exist in, in building a community of women, in, in helping uh, people to relate to each other and make their professional lives more enjoyable. Um, we hope so. And, uh, but it seems to me that that has been part of EWM's psychology, if you will, fr from the very beginning. And that's very nice and something that I have really enjoyed at this meeting. Psychologists know a lot, about, a lot about this. Some people really do have troubles learning, thinking this way, but there's a lot of this thing that if, if you're told you can't do it, then probably you cannot. I mean, you should sort of muster some kind of confidence. I will do this, I can do this. And this is a problem, especially for girls, if we keep telling them they can't do it, or if, if sort of the, their surroundings, their parents, their brothers and sisters tell them, well, math, or they, they may not say it out loud, they just, I mean, they just don't care whether this girl learns math or not, that is a big problem, then, then they don't learn it. AWM is a lot more tightly structured than EWM and uh, okay that's necessary for us to, uh, for example, to get grants. We have to be incorporated, we have to, we have, to have a professional staff, we have to have accountants, uh, we have to have a well-maintained membership roster. Um, things that EWM seems to be able to do without. And again, uh, I guess I've been a little jealous at this meeting how EWM manages with no bureaucracy whatsoever. <laughs> Aussi, c'est un métier, euh, ce que j'aime dans ce métier, c'est qu'il n'y a pas de hiérarchie. Les, les relations entre les gens sont assez informelles et tout, chacun peut exprimer ses idées. Il n'y a, a pas de hiérarchie et il y a une très grande liberté en fait, très grande liberté intellectuelle et aussi une liberté dans l'organisation du travail. Euh, Je dois aussi souligner, une, un des, aussi souligner qu'un des aspects que j'aime dans ce métier, c'est qu'on voyage beaucoup quand on fait de la recherche. Ça, c'est vraiment quelque chose de très plaisant. 
Et bon, j'ai l'impression qu'il y aura toujours des... des poss... Dans les années qui viennent, il y aura toujours des possibilités de carrière en mathématiques parce que les mathématiques sont de plus en plus présentes dans tous les domaines de, de la vie. Non seulement, il y a non seulement les maths pures, mais aussi les maths appliquées sont de plus en plus présentes un peu partout. Well, there are obviously different things that are important, but for me personally, I think that the interdisciplinary area is really fascinating, and I see that it will become more and more important, and we have really wonderful opportunities for young researchers to develop new mathematics inspired by sciences and make a real contribution um, by establishing new research areas. I think as I go along in my career, I discover other aspects of mathematics. I think what attracts me is the fact that it's a, um, a language in construction. For me, mathematics is the language of science and especially a mass mathematical microscope to look deeper into biology or physics. I also think that, you know, I really respond to um, like beautiful things like elegance and simplicity and again finding patterns and math is all that. It's also a universal language and like natural languages which are spoken in specific parts of the world this one you can share with someone uh, who comes from the other side of the world and you don't have much uh, many languages in common with but you can still go to the board and write a few formulas and usually it works and that's that's a very exciting aspect of mathematics mathematics it's it's a funny thing uh, Mathematics is one of the subjects we see a lot of during our schooling. I mean, elementary school, high school, and I think of the, of the subjects that we see a lot of, it's the only one that people get really turned off by. I mean, you see a lot of, of language instruction. People don't say, oh my God, talking or writing. I was so terrible at that. As a mathematician, you constantly, uh, I mean, you meet educated people at a party and they say, oh my God, mathematics, and they roll their eyes. If you meet someone on the train and they ask you what you're doing in life and then you say, I'm doing maths, and then you start trying to explain that it's not just filling in your tax forms <laughs> or, or doing sums all the time. People perceive mathematics as a much more mysterious and difficult thing than it is. Uh, you don't need any special talent or any special gene. You don't need to be from another planet in order to be good at mathematics. And actually everybody does mathematics all the time. And uh, if people think about it, I mean, Sudokus are now in the puzzles are in, 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 uh, in the newspapers. Sudokus would not be entertainment if people didn't like them. And it's not advanced mathematics, but the, the, what you need to do in order to solve a Sudoku is mathematical thinking. And uh, so it's true that to become a professional mathematician is only something that is something that only a few people can do just like only a few people can become an olympic athlete but it's not for that reason that you say oh my god i would never want to play uh, tennis because i won't become federer or or, or nevratilova i mean uh, you still have fun with tennis i mean mathematics is similar the mathematical thinking is something we all can do and we, 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 we enjoy. I mean, people like figuring things out. That's what makes us as human part of the, I mean, trying to understand things. And we like to use our brains. I mean, we have other things in our lives than intellectual things, but we like to understand things. Math inspires true passion, right? It's just something that you feel, okay, I have to figure out, you know, how this is done and how this problem is going to be solved, right? And this process of solving a problem, like in anything else, is just what's really fun about this. I think we all get disappointed when the solution is at hand and you see you're going to reach it, because then the fun part is over. Then you sort of have to clean up the thing and figure out the little things, but then it's done, right? It's, it gets difficult trying to convey what the pleasure of maths is. But on the other hand, it makes it, it turns it into a kind of refuge where you can, in spite of all the daily problems of life, you can go on thinking independently of what's happening around you, which can be dangerous too. 
So all these three aspects, the fact 